Alright, I, I wanted to do a video here. Um, just, you know, talking a little bit about, um, gun control. Uh, yeah. So, it's been a hot topic recently because of, um, uh, you know, Sandy Hook and, uh, just, you know, Obama trying to get down the gun lobby. Uh,. The argument I've heard from people is that Americans can't be trusted with guns because we have all these mass shootings. I mean, I mean, really, there's no logic behind what they're saying because what they're saying is untrue, and it's just like, okay, even if we had. You know, even if we had gun gun laws, right? It what would that solve? That wouldn't solve anything. You take away guns, like without laws, even what would that do? People would still have knives, and they would stab each other. You know, it's, so it's just a flawed argument, and really, it's just propaganda. You know, they it's a Hegelian dialectic problem happens, and it's and the population reacts, which we're in the reaction part, and then a solution is created, often from the same people who create the problem. But um, one of the key arguments that I wanted to bring up, uh, which would be the point of this video, would be, okay, right, you you're against guns. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. But, I am for defending my family. Now, you can be against guns. I don't care. You can, you know, be gun-free and have a vulnerable house to invaders. Whatever. Do what you want. But, as soon as you say, oh, I don't like guns, and then you're trying to extend that belief to me, that's, that's imposing your will against me. That's, I don't want to use this word, but that's taking away my freedom. And freedom, it's uh, mistranslated. I'll get into that another time. But, uh, yeah. You know, you take the guns away, right? Okay, now, you what you just did is you created not a less hostile environment. No, no, no. You created... A vulnerable environment. That's what you just did. And you imposed on my and your family's safety. But you imposed on my family's safety. And by holding those beliefs, you're imposing on my family's safety. That's the key intellectual argument we must make. Because we have to say, I want to defend myself. And then, yeah, I bring this up too. And then people go, oh, well, they're not going to take all the guns. You know, they just want... You know, the assault rifle, because who wants, who needs a hundred rounds? Uh, well, if I was a merchant in the middle of the L.A. riots, I think I would want an assault rifle. You know, just just go look at the videos. It, I think I would want an assault rifle. You know, you're in the middle of Athens, Greece right now. I think you're going to want some security for your family. No joke, go there. I'm sure you're going to want a gun. <laughs> if not, then don't expect to come back with the same thing you you came with, you know? And so, uh, yeah, it's just a flawed argument, really. And um, another thing is, wh okay, why can't, uh, let's say, Russia, why can't Russia invade the United States, you know? It's not because of our armed forces, you know. That's not the reason. If they're afraid of that, well, I don't know. But <laughs> that's not the reason. Um, the reason they don't invade is because there is about 75 guns per 100 pe per people in this um, in this country if you're living here. 
and any except with the exception of the Chinese because they have a lot of people but any military trying to mobilize the United States it can't happen it can't happen it's, it's not going to happen because not only are you going to deal with the United States Armed Forces you're going to be dealing with the civilians who have guns and have assault rifles okay and also you're going to be dealing with the militia which those militias people like to demonize them or, and if they know what they are but no they're just civilians and most of them work with um, local police so they're not they're, it's not anything bad it's not like African militias or whatever you think of so yeah we've already said militias and that's why no one can invade the United States they try to invade, I mean, 7 out of 10 people have guns, technically. not 7 out of 10 people don't have guns, but that's how much guns we have in this country. That's the point. So you, you, so you could arm that much people, 7 out of 10 people, you can arm them. And with an uh, army trying to mobilize the United States, that's not going to fly well. If you think this message is important and should be viewed by others, please share it. Share it to Facebook, share it to Twitter. Also be sure to like and favorite the video. By doing so, it will rise in listings and you'll have the opportunity to be viewed by others. Help us get the message out to the national and international stage. And also please subscribe to this channel, The Truth is Full of Lies.